Heritage. Heritage. Breaking news. The dynamic duo of Tolo Radio, Cindy and Heritage, are no more. Your mic is muted right now. They have called it quits. Cindy and Heritage had a little bit of a disagreement. While live on radio, I might add, so we have the footage. I interview you. And your answer that I could ask you to present that data. The day after it happened, Cindy made a public post on Facebook stating that she's parting ways with Tola Radio for good. Regrettably, I've had to make the decision to part ways with Tola Radio Morning Braff platform. I believe in being responsible and accountable to my audience and platform, and the continued behavior on the Tola Radio program is undermining that. I hold no malice or ill intent towards Heritage, but I simply can no longer enable his behavior. Now, this post has garnered many comments, some in support of Cindy, some against it, thinking that she'll be back any minute now. Here's the footage, and then you guys can decide. I did not look for, and I did not receive any contract for King Adam Bay, here, there, or anywhere. Okay? Right. So, please, Big up stop the narrative. Melo, Thank you very much. Truth, yeah. Big up yourself. Um, Cindy Rose, and there's no data out that proves the PCR test is the most reliable. If I interview you, and you answer that, I could ask you to present that data. Do Heritage. No Every Cindy, question is, is not a yes or no or will be responded Cindy, to the way you the want piece, people to uh, respond to them. You true. have to ask Listen. a question. A lot of your mic respond. is muted right now. Then your mic muted right now. Right. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Let her be there. Now, before we start reading those comments, leave a comment down below and let me know if you feel like Cindy will ever return to the Tola Radio Show. While you're at it, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit the like button. There's a whopping 103 comments on this post. Heritage himself even responded. And you just began screaming my name as if I did something wrong. You guys saw the footage. Do you think that she was screaming? I believe as a host of my show, I have the right to ask a question and follow up without my co-host screaming at me because what I asked flew over her head. You would have gotten a chance to ask your stuff respectably like wise. But no, you must dictate flow, pace, and have the ultimate say, not on my platform. I will always love and support your campaign, but I'm at peace. Watch the tape. Fam, the whole BVI has seen this tape, and honestly, I don't get your point. I mean, to me, it seems like you the one that wants to dictate pace and flow, etc, etc, etc. I feel like things could have gone differently. I feel like muting her mic was not the way to go, and that's pretty disrespectful in my opinion. I right, stop it now. Disagreements happens, fallouts happens, this doesn't call for drastic actions. I right, suck it up. I expect Cindy to be back on the radio next week, bright and early. Do I think Cindy will return eventually? Sure. Do I think it'll be anytime right now? Probably not. They be giving me husband and wife behavior, thank God, they cousins. I agree with your statement, but I also think Cindy should have hit him upside his head for the embarrassment. Ain't too late though, see y'all on Monday. I saw this coming long time, two man crab cannot live in one hole, all the best to you both on different platforms though. Why we always gotta be arguing and fighting with one another? Something wrong with we? Yes. Short answer. The other side, whoever they are, are smiling at this breakup. Their plan unfolding before their eyes. Take a month break, then see you back on the show. You know how our people love to see a mashup. Facts. I know they love to see a mashup too, and that's why you have this video. Now you're right about people loving that this breakup happened. Um, a lot of people wanted to see this downfall for a while. And I'm not on no hater vibes, but I did expect it to happen. Not that I wanted to see it to happen. If Heritage is honest, he would speak to the number of times I've spoken to him relentlessly outside of Tola Radio. I didn't make this decision lightly and he knows that. Sounds like these issues have been brewing for quite some time. I'm not going to read any more of these comments, but in the middle of filming this, Drax Media has also posted an article on the situation. Bad comment gone bad. One commenter who expressed her tenderness towards the radio anchor, Heritage was met with a shocking response of insult. Commenter. Now you give up that nut job, I gave up where he tried to convince me and got upset that I didn't believe the wall is flat. That stupidity I do not need anywhere near my life. Here comes this drunkard again, are you out of rehab yet? Was the commenter to Heritage out of line? Was Heritage irresponsible with his response? Or is it a case of say unto others as you want others to say unto you? Tell us what you think as this all continues. And do just as the article said and leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts on this whole situation. That's exactly where we're going to leave this video. Don't forget to drink water and mind your business.